So we sitting on the side of the road um, on this on ramp in Georgia. The reason we are here is because picked up a load yesterday in Savannah from Shaw. Was supposed to deliver it this morning. Lowe's only like all together, I want to say like 500 miles, 200 from where I delivered in Valdosta, and then uh, I want to say like 3, 350 back up to the uh, northern part of Georgia here in Ackworth. Pick up the load on time, you know what I'm saying? No problem. Drove up, got here last night, it's an hour break. Drove down the street to the receiver. Pull into the, uh, the, the the little front, whatever. You know, the security check-in or whatever. Oh, we don't have an appointment for you. Okay. Um. Well, what what's <laughs> what's the procedure, man? You know, am I gonna get dropped to the bottom of the list, or you know, what's up? No, you got to turn around and leave back out on property. Hold on right quick. There we go. Hold on right quick. Hello? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? So you said there was no appointment set whatsoever? That's correct. Now, who do you drive for? Elite Truck Lines. Elite? Yeah, we, we deal with Elite. I think they, they kind of know the drill, but no, we haven't heard from Elite. Wow, that's tough. And you said the soonest that you could get me in is 1130? That's correct. And it's 820, so that's three hours. Uh, I, guess, I guess I got no choice. Yeah, I mean, luckily we had that one. I've got one there, and then I've got one at 2.30 p.m. And two around 4 o'clock, and that's it until uh, until 7.30 tonight. Okay. Yeah, the, um, the 11.30 will work. I'll just uh, find me somewhere to park and uh, wait till then, I guess. 10.4, I got you set. Thank you. Thank you. See, that's that bullshit. And I'm going to call my dispatcher. And like that's I, and I know somebody gonna say, oh, well, that's owner op life. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be, man. It shouldn't be. Like it, it just, you know, what I'm saying it's just so many red flags, man. And I promise y'all, I'm trying to stick it out, and I'm trying to do better, and I'm trying to, you know, be a good driver. I'm running the miles that they give me. I'm being productive. You know, they told me to be here. You know in the morning, super early, and I was, <laughs> and you know what I'm saying, not even having an appointment, man, these are the things I just didn't deal with as swift, or not to this effect, you know what I'm saying, and pardon me, want to call my dispatcher right now and see what was up with that, and do I get any type of detention, but I don't even know if I want to put that on this video, nah, fuck it, I'm going to show you, I don't care, I put everything out, man, I don't... You know what I mean? I don't, I don't hide nothing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I just put it out. Forgive me. I got to put on my, my my proper voice. But I got to do it properly. and You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Come on, T-Mobile. Huh? Hey, um, so this is Jamar. Um, yeah. I just talked to them. The soonest that they can get me in is 1130. Okay, that's fine. Now, um... That's fine. After that, you got a load. That's the load from, uh, same broker. To pick up today in South Carolina, going to Wisconsin, deliver Saturday. What, I can give you, huh? what what time is that supposed to be picked up? 
Uh, I believe at 4 p.m. they says appointment today. Two or four. I want to see you right now and I want to send you a text message. Okay. You got the information? Yeah, our, yeah, I got the information, but I just didn't get any pickup times. I just got a delivery okay, time. I'm for... let you know right now. Hold on. Because depending on what time it take this place to unload me. Okay. Uh, 2 p.m. today. They can uh, unload at you earlier. We want to call the broker. It's early. Give me 30 minutes and we want to call you. If it be 11, they, you want to be empty and start rolling to pick up your next load in South Carolina. And we drop in Wisconsin for Saturday. Right. Well, what I'm saying is if, 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 I, if I don't leave here... Until, you know, because they, I just talked to the guy. He said the earliest they get me in is 1130. I have nothing else until uh -huh. in the afternoon. So what happens if I don't leave here until 12, 1 o'clock and I can't get to South Carolina by 2 o'clock? Then do I have to sit That's and wait? Fine. They are up and nobody want to the pro make the problem because I know this shipper in South Carolina very well. And they are, you know, they want to give you the load. All right. Now, as far as as far as detention time, because I was told to be here at seven a.m. What, what kind of detention? What kind of detention? What means detention? I, I don't understand. I was told you guys paid attention time after two to three hours, depending on the, I guess, the customer. That's what the owner of the truck told me. You have to talk with him. I don't get the detention. We got appointment. If you are appointment eleven thirty. And if they are not unloading you until tonight, of course, we can uh, get some money uh, from the broker. Every single broker pay after four hours unloading and they pay. Well, uh, last, week, you, last week you told me three hours, but anyways... No, I never told you three hours. Let's say this is JB Handload. JB Handload pay after four hours. Any problem, anything. If we got to wait for, let's say, one day, a single broker... Well, see, the only, the only issue I have is that I was told to be here at 7 a.m. by you guys, and now it's 11.30, and now I got to... Okay, I don't know. Okay, let me call and see. I didn't book that load. Okay, if there's appointment for 7.30... Hold on, Jamal. Hold on. Okay. On the rain, confirmation says delivered 30, pick up 31st, and deliver, deliver the... They are not confirmed. They put 11 11. That's not confirmed. Okay, if they told you 11 30, there's a point. Either way, I get screwed. So it's whatever. I'll let you know when I'm unloaded. I'm headed to the shipper. Okay, but I'm not finna keep going back and forth with that nigga. It's irritating, man. I'm trying to be patient, y'all. I just don't understand because it's like I can show you the text. You know what I'm saying? Like when they sent me the load information. Let's see. Let me. Uh... Let me see, dispatcher, create new contact now. Cause I got, I gotta add the contact so that you guys don't see the number. But <sighs> I don't want nobody to say I gave no numbers away. All right, let's see. I think I said, I said what time? I said what time? What time does load deliver? See, let's say morning, 7 a.m., but you can also try to deliver today. Let's say deliver today. If that worked for you, just tell me ETA, and I will call them, and then I, I let them know what I say. Uh, My next joint said, I'll, de I'll, I'll deliver in morning, says next load. I told her I would deliver it this morning. Since the next load don't pick up until today, you know what I'm saying? This was a text, and this was uh, this was at uh, what time was this? I can't even see the date or the time. 
This is 11.29 a.m. Let me see. You got, you got to slide the joint over. So it's 11.29 a.m. And the time now is 8.27. So there's no way that that was a, a today text message. That was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? And that was after I waited and, and didn't have a load from the day before. So it's just like, I'm just trying to get, I know people going to come up here and say, oh, you shouldn't be airing out that. Nah, fuck that. I'm putting this shit out there, man. Because I, I need somebody to explain this to me. Is this how this shit's supposed to go? Is this how working for an owner operator or fleet owner? Because I feel like I'm getting screwed. I'm losing time. I'm not used to this shit, man. I'm, I'm just not. Call it what you want. Call it what you want. You told me to be here at 7 a.m. Boom, I pull up. Oh, we, we don't have no appointment. It'd be one thing if they would have told me, y'all heard the man said they ain't had no appointment, period. This is what the receiver said. This ain't nothing I'm making up. So then and then when I asked to be compensated for a mistake that clearly is y'all fault, oh, I, I don't know what this detention is. What is you talking about? So oh so oh so I just lose I just lose money I just sit here I just sit here oh but you gonna call the broker and you gonna make some magic I just talked to the receiver what you talking about shit is crazy man shit is fucking crazy so I I don't know man. They making my they making my decision easier, man. I said and told y'all the other day I was thinking about Swift and going back and just being comfortable there. But I just don't know. I'm trying to find reasons to stay, but like I said, they're just making it hard, man. I can't help but feel like I'm getting screwed. Then my next appointment time is at 2 p.m. But my appointment here ain't until 11:30, and that, that that shit like like 200 miles away. So I mean, I, I probably I might can make it if I can get a quick unload. But I guess it depends, man. It just I just hate when I feel like I'm getting punished for shit that I'm not doing. Now, if I was late, if I had showed up at 9 a.m. for a 7 a.m. appointment, I understand. I understand. You know what I'm saying? If I would have, if, if it would have been on me, I take full responsibility. But when I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing, and yet I'm still getting screwed, I'm still getting, oh, you got to sit, you got to wait, you got to. And then I got all these different people, my dispatcher telling me this time, the receiver telling me that time. It's just confusing, man. I, 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 I just, I don't know, man. All I know is I'm in Georgia. Virginia is not that far from here. Matter of fact, I could go to the Swift Terminal in Atlanta. For real, for real. If I wanted to carry it like that. I go to the Swift Terminal in Atlanta. Park my truck there. Or park close to there. And leave that bitch right there. That's what all the other drivers in did. Matter of fact, what's so funny and what also frustrates me about this situation. They just fired a driver for being high as shit in Georgia. In the truck. Nigga was sniffing coke. So you 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 looking for good quality drivers, but when you get one, you don't fucking take care of them. Fucking kind of shit is that, man? That's what's crazy, man. Like, and then like, I just don't like the whole. I don't know. I just let me get off here. I gotta go try to figure some shit out. Think about what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I'm just frustrated. This is trucking. This is working for an owner operator. Working for a lease operator. Everybody talk that shit about the mega carriers. They ain't deal with none of this at Swift. Man, Swift would have been like. Okay, boom. Okay, they pushed it back four hours. Don't even worry about it. Go drop that joint at the Atlanta terminal. We got a load for you going from Alabama to fucking Idaho. Go get it. Or something. You know what I'm saying? While you waiting on that, do some local work. Like I could have I could have finagled some shit with Swift. This right here. And it's like, yo, when you make 55 cent there, you make 45 cent at Swift. Yeah, but I'm not going to be sitting nowhere near as much as I'm going to be sitting here with Swift. At all. 
You know what I mean? So I just, I don't know, man. I'm just going to figure it out. I'm going to try to keep a level head and decide what I'm going to do, man. Decide what I'm going to do. But as always, man, stay safe. Stay, uh, I don't even know my own saying. God damn it. Stay safe, stay positive, stay productive. God family trucking.